hey guys welcome back to next gen block and in this video i want to show you how you can add a motion blur to text in vstc free video editor now it's actually super easy to add a motion blur to text in vstc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this i've already written some text on top of the screen so this is my text present right here and the first thing which you need to do is you need to double click on your text object. Next, you need to add a push transition at the beginning as well as at the end of your text object. So to do that, go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and now click on OK. Now place this push transition right at the beginning like this and look inside the push settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside type currently door is selected, so change this from door to side. Inside mode right to left is selected, so that's fine. Inside directly currently the value is false, so change this from false to true. Inside gradient length currently the value is 50%, so delete this value. And instead of 50 you need to write 0 and now press enter on the keyboard. Now click on this push transition, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Now place this second push transition right at the end like this and look inside the push settings of this second push transition. Type is already set to side so that's fine. Mode is set to right to left so change the mode from right to left to left to right. Directly is set to true, so change this from true to false. Gradient length is already set to 0%, so that's fine as well. And so now, if I just quickly play the video for you. So here comes my text from the left side, and it exits the screen from the right side. Alright. Now next, what you need to do is, you need to add the motion blur effect. So go to video effects, go to filters, select motion blur and now click on OK. Now currently the duration of the motion blur effect is the entire duration of my text object in the timeline that is 5 seconds. So decrease the duration of the motion blur effect to just 1 second. So inside the duration option you need to write 01.000 and now press enter on the keyboard. Now look inside the motion blur effect settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside motion type currently linear motion is selected so that's fine. You don't need to make any changes inside this motion type option. Inside blur distances currently the value is 10 pixel. So the minimum and maximum value which you can write inside this blur distances option is 0 pixel and 1024 pixel. When you are adding a motion blur to text I would suggest you to write any value between 50 pixel and 75 pixel. So going by that, let me write the value, let's say 50 pixel inside this blur distances option. And now let me press enter on the keyboard. Inside blur angles, currently the value is 0 degree. So to explain this blur angles option, I have actually created a chart. So this is the chart right here. If you are planning to create a movement of your text from left side to right side, you need to write zero degree inside blur angles. If you are moving your text from top to bottom, then you need to write 90 degree inside blur angles. If you are moving your text from right to left, then you need to write 180 degree inside blur angles and if you are moving your text from bottom to top then you need to write 270 degree inside blur angles so this is how the blur angles actually work so since i am moving my text from left to right i will write zero degree inside blur angles and zero is already written inside blur angles that's why I'm not making any changes inside this blur angles option. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. So I don't know how much my screen recorder will capture the output. But um, 
a motion blur has been added on top of my text so if you try it in your video editor you will clearly see it let me just play the video for you once again let me do one final thing let me click on this motion blur effect press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now place this second motion blur effect right at the end like this perfect and so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start here comes my text from left and it exits the screen from right so this is how you can add a motion blur effect to text in vscc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching